Congratulations, and welcome aboard the Lionel Video Instruction Manual. You own an authentic, ready-to-run train set built by the model railroad industry leader, Lionel. Your train set is part of an historic, high-quality family of products that stretches back over 100 years. With all that model railroading experience, you can be sure we have built in all the sights, sounds, and feelings of the real railroads for you to enjoy. In Lionel train sets, you'll find things like super bright headlights, puffing smoke and steam locomotives, bold, colorful diesel engines, crisp, realistic decoration on each piece of rolling stock, and of course, the thrilling sounds of the railroad, from rousing steam whistles to powerful diesel horns. Now that you're in control of your own railroad empire, let your imagination be your guide as you design your track layout. With the fast track track system, the sky is the limit. You get 12 easy to assemble sections with this set, enough to create a large oval track configuration. You can purchase additional straight and curved sections, crossovers and switches from your authorized Lionel value added dealer to create a layout of any shape or design. Your set also features the mighty CW80 transformer, which is powerful enough for much longer trains on much larger layouts and very easy to set up and use. Now let's get started. In the sections ahead, we'll walk you through the design and assembly of your track layout and will help you get your CW80 transformer up and running. Then we'll give you a few pointers about operating your set, plus a few advanced features that will come in handy later on. And finally, we'll show you how you can make your train set grow into your very own railroad empire. Right now, you're off to a great start with your ready-to-run Lionel train set. Just like with a real railroad, you need to decide where you want to set up your train. Don't worry, working with the Lionel Fast Track Track System is much easier and a lot more fun than the real thing. In fact, you can build your train set on just about any indoor surface. A tabletop, carpeting, a four foot by eight foot board, or the basement floor. Your Lionel train set includes one terminal, eight curves, and three straight sections of fast track track. Let's take a look at a few layout options. Using all 12 pieces, you can create an oval shaped layout. That's two half circles connected by two straight sections. Four curved sections create each half circle and two straight pieces of track make up each side. This is the ideal carpet layout. You get the chance to pick up speed on the straight sections and the thrill of two tight turns. The dimensions of this loop are about 40 inches by 60 inches. Take away the straight sections and borrow the fast track terminal wires attaching the red wire to the center tab and the black wire to the offset tab on the underside of the track. When space is tight, this might be the layout for you. It's also perfect for around the Christmas tree. Now let's expand the circle by adding a straight section of track between every two curved sections. This layout looks like a square with rounded corners. The dimensions of this layout are about 50 inches by 50 inches. Have a seat in the center 
Watch the train as it races around you. Remember, the possibilities are endless. Purchase more track sections or a specially designed fast track expansion pack from your authorized Lionel dealer and construct your railroad empire. Either way, you can easily add on to the track layout you already have. The fast track track system was designed to be durable, easy to assemble, and realistic in appearance. With interlocking roadbed sections and large rail joiners, the track fits tightly together so you always get good electrical contact. Each section also features gray roadbed or ballast for stability and a realistic appearance. Let's see how to join the track sections. First, line up two sections of track. Next, insert the rail tabs. Then, press the sections together until they click into place. And there you go. Join the rest of the track sections just like that. To separate the track sections, hold them by the roadbed and pull them straight apart. They can be assembled and disassembled thousands of times. Here are a few helpful hints to keep in mind when working with the fast track track system. If possible, plan your layout with the fast track terminal section near the transformer. That way, you don't have to worry about the wires crossing under your layout. Fast track track sections lock together tightly allowing you to lift the entire loop of track and hang it on the wall for storage. When you expand your layout with more sections of track, this method of storage won't be practical. But for now, it may make cleanup easier between operating sessions. If you want a more permanent track layout, use screws to secure the track to your layout surface like a four foot by eight foot plywood board. If you would like to secure the track to anything else, be sure you have permission to use tools and to make holes in the surface. Now let's turn our attention to the fast track terminal section. It's time to connect the CW80 transformer. Your entire layout can be powered by the mighty CW80 transformer. Listed by the Underwriters Laboratory, this 80-watt power supply features a power-on indicator light, direction, whistle, and bell buttons, and an orange throttle lever. One thing before we go any further. Be sure to read through your owner's manual for important information about operating the CW80 safely. Now let's set up the transformer. First, feed the wires through the notch in the fast track terminal section. Stretch the wires out to the CW80. Here is the back of the transformer. Under the track label, you'll find two posts. A red post labeled A, and a black post labeled U. Loosen the thumb screw terminals and slide the spade-shaped connectors at the end of the wires into position. Then tighten the thumb screws to secure the connection. Connect the red wire to the red post and the black wire to the black post. Make sure your throttle level is set to zero. Finally, Plug the CW80 transformer into a standard wall outlet. And that's it. Your CW80 is plugged in and connected. Now let's get your train set up. This is the part you've been waiting for, placing your train on the track. You'll be heading down your main line, roaring around the curves in no time. 
you'll find that getting your Lionel train on the track is no problem. O-Gage train sets are large enough to be very easy to work with. Begin by unpacking your locomotive and rolling stock. Be careful to remove all the packaging, wrapping, and bags from each unit. Let's take a look at the trucks. On a train, the trucks are what the cars ride on. They hold the wheels and axles, and they swivel freely to enable your train to follow wide or tight curves. Next, with track power still off, place the cars on the track, and be sure each truck is properly positioned on the rails, and that each truck rolls smoothly on the track. Keep in mind that the axles can cause short circuits if the wheels are off the track. So it's best to leave the track power off until all the wheels are in place. On the end of each car is a knuckle coupler. The couplers link the train cars together. Notice the way the couplers are released. Simply press down on the uncoupling tab and slide the cars apart. To couple the cars together, be sure that at least one mating coupler is open, and then push them together. The couplers will automatically close, joining the cars together. Steam locomotive owners, be sure to add four to eight drops of smoke fluid to the locomotive smokestack before powering up the track. Operating the smoke unit without a little smoke fluid can cause damage to the smoke unit. If your locomotive is equipped with a smoke on-off switch, you can simply turn off the smoke generator if you don't want smoke and you don't want to add smoke fluid. Refer to your instruction manual for specific details about your locomotive. All aboard! Let's get your train underway. Use the throttle to increase and decrease speed or to bring the train to a stop. Press the whistle button to sound the locomotive's whistle or horn. The sound will be activated for as long as you hold down the button. Release it and the sound will stop. Press the bell button once to activate the locomotive's bell if it's equipped with this feature. Press bell again to discontinue the sound. The reversing unit inside your locomotive controls its direction, similar to the transmission in a real automobile. Your locomotive goes through a repeating pattern of operation. Neutral, forward, neutral, reverse, neutral, forward, and so on. The signal you give to your locomotive to advance to the next operation is a brake in track power. This can be accomplished in one of two ways. First, you can simply press the direction button on your controller and track power is automatically interrupted. The other way is to turn off track power using the orange throttle lever. You may want to turn off the locomotive's reversing unit to lock the engine into one direction, especially for forward-only operation. You'll find a reverse unit switch in your steam locomotive's cab or on the bottom of your diesel engine. Check out your owner's manual for the location of this switch on your locomotive. If the switch is thrown to the off position while the engine is powered down, the locomotive will be locked in the next operating state, forward, neutral, or reverse. Simply use the direction button or the throttle to cycle the engine into reverse and then to neutral. That way, forward is the next direction. Throw the switch to the off position and your locomotive is locked in forward. If the switch is thrown to the off position while the locomotive is powered up, 
it will be locked in that operation. For example, if you throw the switch while the locomotive is moving forward, the locomotive will be locked in forward. Please note, to return to normal forward neutral reverse operation, throw the switch back to the on position. The CW80 transformer allows you to exceed its maximum voltage range for a few moments, allowing you to use a little extra power to handle a heavy load or battle a steep grade. Your CW80 will let you temporarily exceed its power limits to accommodate the added load. The power will gradually be reduced until the extra load is removed. The power on indicator light will flash to let you know that this is happening. Here's the real benefit. This feature replaces a circuit breaker that would immediately interrupt power to the entire layout when the power limits are exceeded. It's more versatile and very safe to operate. Your transformer features two accessory posts with programmable voltage output. Connect accessories as described in the accessory instruction manuals. Set the voltage and your accessories will operate just right. You can make adjustments so the lamps illuminate with the right intensity and the motors operate at a speed that's right for you. Accessory connections are simple. They're made just like the track connections. Take a look at the back of the transformer. Under the accessory label, you'll find two posts, one labeled B and one labeled U. We'll connect the accessory wires to these posts. Loosen the terminals and connect the accessory power wire. Simply insert the bare end of the wire into the hole in the post or wrap it around the post. Then tighten the thumb screw to secure the connection. The CW80 transformer allows you to set or program the voltage. This is very easy to do, and it will come in handy when you decide to add powered accessories to your layout. Start with the throttle all the way back to turn off track power. Press and hold the direction, whistle, and bell buttons on the transformer simultaneously. The green light on the transformer will flash. With all three buttons held down, raise the throttle slowly until you reach your desired accessory voltage. Watch how the accessory responds. Release the buttons once you have the accessory operating at the right voltage. The solid green light indicates that you have set the accessory voltage. Finally, bring the throttle all the way back to turn off the power. The next time you throttle up, you will be controlling track power. The accessory voltage has been set at a constant level so the speed of the train won't affect the voltage. Setting up your train layout is as simple as that. Now all you have to do is throttle up and have a blast. Just like real railroads, you'll want to maintain your Lionel trains so they stay in excellent operating condition. We recommend that you purchase a Lionel lubrication and maintenance kit available from your authorized Lionel dealer. This kit includes grease and oil for your locomotive and cleaners for your track. Your owner's manual will show you how to take care of your train set. You'll learn how to lubricate your locomotive. Remember, just a little grease or oil will do the trick. And be sure to keep the grease and oil off the track, wheels, and contact rollers for good electrical contact.
You'll also find instructions for replacing the headlights and interior lighting. You'll see how to remove the bodies to access the lamps for replacement. The lamp part numbers are listed so you can order them from your authorized Lionel service station or from our service department in Chesterfield, Michigan. Your owner's manual includes the Lionel warranty and service policy. Refer to this section to learn about having us service your train. One more thing. A list of authorized Lionel service stations is included with your train set. The service stations can provide both warranty and non-warranty service, should you ever need it. With the fast track track system and the powerful CW80 transformer, this is truly a train set that you can grow with. You'll be amazed at all the Lionel products available at your authorized Lionel value added dealer. You've already seen some of the ways that you can add fast track track sections to create an impressive layout. Now let's take a look at some of the Lionel products that ride the rails or operate next to the track. They're the perfect complements to your train set. Adding a new Lionel locomotive is one of the best ways to grow your railroad empire. After all, you'll probably agree that these mighty iron horses are the stars of the show. Lionel offers a wide variety of high quality locomotives, including the mighty 464 Hudson and the 284 Berkshire. These locomotives offer the action, smoke, and sounds of a real steam locomotive at a great price. If you prefer the bold liveries and the bright colors of a modern diesel locomotive, be sure to check out the Lionel RS3 the U36B or the impressive GP38 Looking to create a longer freight train? Lionel offers rolling stock of all kinds. Boxcar, hopper, tank car, and many more. And just for fun, some whimsical rolling stock features animated figures that you'll definitely enjoy. Imagine these authentically detailed cars parading around your layout. Lionel accessories allow you to turn your layout into your own miniature world. You could start with the trackside accessories, crossing gates and signals to place along the track. Then create towns, industrial operations, and even a Lionel carnival. The Trainmaster Command Control System allows you to experience your layout in ways you never thought possible. You have the ability to control your entire layout from your wireless Cab 1 remote controller. Throw switches and activate accessories while you stand anywhere around your layout. You also have the ability to access the advanced, realistic features of your Trainmaster Command Control equipped locomotives with your Cab 1 remote controller. To start operating your locomotives in the Command Control environment, all you need is the Lionel Command Control set and a Power Master or Track Power Controller. You won't believe how easy it is to install these components. Remember, you control this unit through the cab one, so you're completely free to walk around your layout, experiencing it from just about any angle.
Thanks for joining us and learning about your new Lionel Ready to Run train set. We wish you many years of model railroading fun. If you have any questions or you would like a free catalog, give us a call at 586 949 4100 or send an email message to talk to us at lionel.com. And don't forget to visit us on the internet at www.lionel.com. Here you can browse through our latest catalog, use Magnavision to check out the incredible details on some of our latest products, locate a dealer in your area, or find out about visiting us in Chesterfield, Michigan. Until then, enjoy your Lionel Railroad.